airplane. You know, there's that moment of kind of fear and you're not really sure, especially the first jump, you're not so sure if you're really ready for all of that. And you look at an airplane and there may be a dozen other people in the plane. And then one by one, they start, the plane gets fewer and fewer people. And you're like, wait a minute, that's not supposed to happen. But then finally, what you'll see is when people finally make that jump, there is this, uh, on most people's faces, there is this look, the look of kind of fear and terror is immediately transferred into this look of just a dramatic excitement and joy. And, and that is what um, it's like to abandon yourself to God's will. There's that free fall. There's that moment of, of making that leap of faith when you're, you're, you jump out and your arms are spread open and you're, you're let, your whole body is uh, spread open wide, and you're just receiving pure oxygen. In fact, some people say you don't even need to breathe when you're free-falling because the oxygen's pouring right into your skin. Uh, and that should be the feeling of that total moment of abandonment. There's kind of that apprehension, and there should be, because it's, it, it costs you your whole life. When you give your life to the Lord, He wants all of you. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Soup up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. When I was lonely and living uh, by myself in Columbus, Ohio, um, and then moved back to Arizona and started my own ad agencies, a uh, second and a third one, and did really, really well. Got married uh, to a wonderful Catholic girl. Uh, never missed mass, but I knew my life was out of control, Bear, because like all I cared about was more and more goals, more and more achievement. Well, you know, and the he, thing, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. That, I was going to say, even though I went to mass, I felt, I felt uh, empty and out of control. I felt out of sorts. One of the early church fathers talked about that, that, that kind of that always wanting more. Uh, yeah. achievement or whatever. And he talked about it. What if you saw a man walking down the street and he was scooping air into his mouth as if to eat it? Mm-hmm. In other words, all he was doing was filling himself with more emptiness. And not that there isn't a great need for excellence in our lives of uh, people that pursue uh, business goals and are excellent in that area. But if that's the focus of where you think you're going to find your meaning, you're going to end up pretty empty. Most of my friends didn't want to sell anything, didn't want to go into business. They wanted to uh, pursue other avenues. But I felt it as a calling because I love communicating with people. uh, And I love engineering kind of a win-win situation where if I have a product or a service and somebody needs it, then by us communicating, um, they can actually win and get something accomplished by buying my product or service. And so in my heart, I didn't want to sell something to somebody who didn't need it, but I did want to make that match so that they would get something out of it. Uh, I would accomplish the goal, and it would be kind of a joint uh, reciprocal um, relationship. And so I love that part of business, and I, and I love the communications part of it. And when you really think about it, isn't evangelization the same way? That you've got somebody who's searching for something, you present Jesus and his good news of salvation, they open the door, and like you both win because, you know, we get super excited. You do this thing where, and we see it all over, uh, this, this using your marketing skills the way God created you. You're doing this, what someone, some might call a great thing, and you're reaching out to people. But what Mother Teresa also said is you may not be able to you may not be doing great things for God, yeah. but what you do, do the little things with great love. Um, and yeah. so what we're asking you to do is in your kuleana, in your place in life, do great things within that. Do, do great love. love. Love is something you do. It's not something you feel. I mean, God said, God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. Love wasn't, it didn't say, God so loved the world that he felt all warm and gushy inside. You know, yeah. he, he did something. So you, everyone there, everyone there has someone that they can love and someone or some ones that they can love in a great way. And some, some are called to do these, these kind of things like Tom Peterson is doing with uh, CatholicsComeHome.org and Virtue Media. I love that. Man, 
I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Plus, good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff, coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell.